Hello everyone, welcome to Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here. So here is a problem which is a very simple problem actually from uh, kinematics. But surprisingly, so many students have made a mistake in uh, this problem when I gave this in uh, the telegram group of uh, INSP. So I thought I should discuss this problem and it's a very nice one and slightly on the easier side but uh, still there are high chances that you may make mistakes so there will be a lot of learning in this question so uh, the problem statement is a particle moves along a curve such that its position vector r is given as a function of time so vector r is given to us where t denotes the time the magnitude of acceleration along the normal at time t equal to 2 can be represented as p root q where p and q are integers and q is square free that means further square we cannot take and uh, we have to find p plus q so the first uh, idea is we can we have to find acceleration component along the normal this is uh, your r vector so if we differentiate this we are going to get instantaneous velocity as a function of time which is dr by dt and further if we differentiate this we are going to get uh, total acceleration of the particle and here as we can see that velocity vector and a they are not parallel to each other so this will give us first hint that it is along a curve and which is given in the problem statement as well so that curve is not uh, at least uh, straight line now at t equal to 2 we are going to calculate this vector v and vector a i have covered this uh, kind of problems in my class notes so uh, those students uh, surely had some uh, advantage in solving this and uh, here you can see uh, let's say this is the path or curve along which particle is moving and velocity vector will be along the curve and uh, the acceleration will be somewhere in this direction you can say component of acceleration along the path or you can say along the tangent is tangential acceleration and normal to that is a n this is what we have to calculate now we know velocity vector so tangential acceleration can be written as a component of acceleration along vector v so projection vector concept we can use and magnitude wise i can write as a vector a dot v cap and this magnitude turns out to be 16 you can check uh, with the calculation i'm not showing it here and similarly uh, uh, acceleration magnitude from here you can calculate and that will come out as a root 5, uh, 548 now normal acceleration I can directly calculate as uh, because these two are perpendicular so a total is going to be uh, 80 square plus a normal square so a normal square will be root of total acceleration square minus uh, tangential acceleration square when we substitute we are going to get this answer as uh, 2 root uh, 73 so p is known to us q is known to us and p plus q is 75 this is going to be the answer majority of the students got it uh, wrong and uh, see, uh, similarly here uh, like in vector form we can write these uh, tangential accelerations and normal accelerations a dot v cap times uh, v cap this is vector component of uh, tangential acceleration and similarly vector form of normal acceleration can be written as total minus tangential acceleration so this will be vector a minus a dot v cap times v cap another extension of this problem can be radius of curvature at any time t so i can write this radius of curvature as a speed square divided by a normal so we have vector v so we know that uh, v square part at the same time we know a normal which we have calculated so if you substitute these values we can uh, find out uh, radius of curvature in such situation as a function of time so that's it in this video i hope uh, you have understood and uh, wherever you have gone wrong in the solution you can uh, verify that so it's a very nice problem so that's it in this video thank you thanks for watching this